How y'all doing this morning? This morning I came to talk to you about two new tools I got for the kitchen. And for the kitchen and for outside on the grill and just around the house and some at work. I got two knives from Schrade. You know how I love my knives, my kitchen knives and everything else, but you know I can't always have a good kitchen knife with me when I'm outside on the grill or you know around the house or maybe at the market or something like that. So I kind of want to show you what I got in uh, yesterday actually from Schrade. These seem like these are going to be some good products and help me around the kitchen, around the house and stuff like that for some light duty and culinary use. Or what I have here, right here I've got the SCH. 402L from Schrade, and this is the SCH401L from Schrade. You know, your basic difference between these two is for number one, it's going to be your handle shape. You see, one's got, let me see if I can move it up here a little bit more for you. One's got the, the uh, handle that comes more to a point, one's got the more rounded off handle. You also will have a little bit more blade length here with this 401 just just a hair 0.2 inches more uh, your handle length here's just going to be a little bit more on the uh on the 401 as well your overall length is going to be 0.1 so you're looking at 0 0.1 0 0.2 inches difference as far as length other than that you know they're both basically going to be the same we've got a ceramic blade uh, with a carbon fiber carbon fiber handle on here is really nice you've also got a stainless steel frame let's see sorry you got your ceramic blade with your carbon fiber handle and your stainless steel frame inside let's just go over a little bit of specs first what we've got um, on here we've got a blade that's about now on this one that I'm holding here this is a 402 okay so your blade length is going about 3.4 inches on this one uh, we're looking at your handle length of about 4.3, overall about 7.7 .7 inches, weighing in really light, y'all. This is 2.08 ounces, so it's a really light knife. Of course, the blade style is going to be drop point with a hollow grind, carbon fiber handle, stainless steel frame inside. You've got your thumb stud to open, and of course, with your stainless steel frame, you've also got a stainless steel liner lock, right-handed clip, the tip down carry so here's how it's going to carry right here in your pocket now you know with basically the specs out of the way also you've got this one here and this will be the, the 401 and your difference here your blade length is going to be 3.2 inches handle 4.6 overall 7.8 just get a little bit more length there on that one actually your blade length on this one's going to be a little bit shorter and your handle's going to be a little bit longer so they they basically measure out within a point you know one's 7.8 and one's 7.7 .7 as far as length goes now they have a little bit different style on the pocket clip this one's got this pocket clip here this is the pocket clip on this one so now with all that out of the way, let's get to talking about how I plan on using these. You know, I, I do love to use uh, ceramic knives in the kitchen every once in a while. They're nice because, first off, you don't have to worry about any kind of corrosion on a ceramic knife. They hold a wonderful edge. You also, with a ceramic knife, if you're cutting something, let's say you're cutting something like lettuce or something that has a reaction to metal, you don't have to worry about that. And they stay super sharp. Like I said, they retain an edge a lot better than stainless steel sometimes. I really like that about a ceramic blade. You know, they, they, they stay really sharp. They retain that edge. They're very easy to use around the They don't harbor bacteria. There's no little crevices or anything for that to get into. I think these will be the perfect knives for me to have on my person all the time, you know, when I'm out and I'm at the market or something, I need to cut a little something, you know, sample, take a little cut of cheese, something like that, maybe some sausage, uh, you can cut some fruit stems, stuff like that. This is going to be a great little knife. Both of these guys will be fantastic. Now, the only downside really to a ceramic blade is, yes, they are not nearly as strong as a stainless steel. You wouldn't want to take this knife, neither would. You want to take a nice stainless steel knife and use it as a pry bar or anything like that. You will break this blade, okay? This is 
just a, a very, it's a, not a very light duty, but it's a light duty. I mean, you can do a lot of cutting. You don't want to cut anything around bones or anything like that, but you can cut meat, you can cut vegetables, you can cut, you know, rope, all that sort of thing with it. I use it to open boxes. You know, light duty use. This is what they call a gentleman's knife. This is a nice knife for you know, medium to light duty use. I wouldn't. So I wouldn't go hacking on a stump or something like that with this, or trying to trim limbs with it. Well, as I said before, this is uh, by Schrade, and that Schrade's actually um, a, a, a part of Taylor Brands. Uh, they are based out of Kingsport, Tennessee, founded in 1975. They've been manufacturing high quality knives and accessories ever since. Basically, Taylor Brands, they, they have Schrade Imperial. Old Timer, Uncle Henry, Schrade Tough, uh, the manufacturer of the Smith & Wesson knives, if you've ever seen those, X-Timer, and recently they've started doing um, high quality scissors and flashlights. I'd like to check out one of those flashlights one day, and the scissors. But these knives, I'm super excited about them. You know how I've, I've used some ceramic knives in the past and really loved them. But now I get something that I can actually carry on my person to have with me on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm really excited about that. You'll see a lot of use out of these throughout my videos. I mean, you know, when I'm just going to grab for something and don't have one of my big nice, you know, kitchen knives with me, a chef's knife or something like that, these are going to be my go-to pieces here, and these are going to see a lot of use. As far as warranty goes, it seems that the trade offers a warranty to the original consumer for as long as he or she owns the product. Uh, coverage is not transferable. It does not cover abuse or misuse using this thing as a pry bar, you know, stuff like that. Um, and also, it doesn't cover normal wear and tear, scratches on the product finish, and stuff like that, or abuse. But, you know, your basic, a good warranty though, you know, if something wants to happen to it, you know, they will help you out. You can mail it in, stuff like that. So, a lot to be expected. You know, price point on these knives. When I first saw these knives, I was thinking, you know, these, I, I looked at a lot of reviews and stuff like about these online, and you can check out that too. A lot of people have the reviews, I and mean, these knives get great reviews. As far as price point, you can get these off of Amazon for about $40 a piece. I mean, it's a great deal for a knife like this. I'll actually post a, a link in the description box where you can order them. Like I said, you've got two different styles. Whichever one you want, you've got your um, your SCH402L. It's the one I'm holding right here with this style handle, and then you've got your 401L with this style handle. Now the L means large. That's going to have the 3.2 or the 3.4 inch blade. They also make one the same model number without the L in. It's a little bit shorter knife. If you want something a little bit more compact, but for me, I think these would be a lot better if we're doing some culinary work and cutting and stuff around the kitchen need a little bit larger knife although it's not really that large I'll try to give you put it in perspective here i've got a pin here y'all all know about the size of a pin so here's the knife set on the side just fold it up you're next to a pin so it's not not that long at all you know fold it up you're looking at you know, like 4.5 inches or something then we'll unfold it right here all right you're looking you see here uh, let's move it where you can see something about like that. So you know, it's a little bit longer than a pen. Another thing I want to talk to you about is when you first get these knives, you may experience, you know, like I said, they're, they've got the thumb stud opener. They may be, a, let's see, I've already kind of loosened this one up. They may be a little bit hard, take a little bit more effort to open because you've got your pivot points tightened down. And that's true with a lot of newer knives they're new out of the box. What I suggest is you just keep playing with it. This thing will get looser. It'll be easier done. Same goes for the liner lock or the uh, the frame lock. You push on it right here and the uh, liner lock, I'm sorry. Push on it and it may be a little bit harder to push. Maybe a little bit hard to disengage that liner lock at first but that too with use and I've only had these things just since last night so mine's still a little bit stiff but they're getting better getting a lot better but it's a really quality knife you cannot beat this for the price in my opinion I think it's going to be a very good knife it's going to see a lot of use of out of it in my kitchen around out there in the barbecue in the yard 
the market and stuff like that. I'm really excited about carrying these. Like so we've got the little pocket clip, tip down here. You could remove this pocket clip if you wanted to. And this carbon fiber, I mean, that's a real plus. And this is real carbon fiber. Um, you know, you don't see this on knives, you know, under $150, $200 and stuff like that. They're offering a real value here, to give you this real carbon fiber and everything like that. So I'm really excited to use these charade knives here in my kitchen. You know, hopefully I'll get to test some of their other products out or I'll be purchasing some of their other products too. Maybe the flashlight, something like that, you know, to kind of help me around the house. I always have my oven lights going out or something. I'm searching for something. But this looks like some really good products. Y'all will be seeing a lot of use out of these again. I thank y'all for watching Southern Coastal Cooking. Y'all be good. Thanks a lot. Tune in. You'll see, see me use these a lot.